Julia Okaile Hammond is a second year student in senior high school. She has for years desired to turn 18 and have the ability to participate in national elections as she believes it comes with responsibility. Her grandmother, Florence Mensah, cannot hide her excitement, joining her to acquire what she describes as a voice to nation building, the voter's ID card. Julia is now a potential voter in the upcoming 2024 general elections. Today, 7th May, I've registered you as a Ghanaian, a fully Ghanaian girl. That coming December 7th, you've got the right to vote the president that you want him to come as a president of Ghana. I'm not a grandmother to convince my granddaughter. She knows what is going on because she's, a, she's of age. That's 18 years. She knows what is good and bad. I can force her to vote for Nanado. Maybe she doesn't like Nanado. I can force her to vote for Mahama. She doesn't. So her choice is her. I'm happy to come and do my voter's ID card that I'll be voting to her as well. Hadja Semira Yusif is here to help her daughter and niece register in the limited voter registration exercise. Both Shamima and Barikisu have turned 18 and ready to vote. Philip and Kinsley say they now have a voice that can cause change. It is a great privilege for me to get a voter's ID card and I'm extremely glad and also confounded this blessed day. And you see, when you are not having this voter's ID card and stuff, you cannot participate in voting and asking like sharing your point of view. Are you someone that maybe will be pressured by your parents to vote for someone? Mm, not really. Yeah, not really. My parents can never and ever put pressure on me to vote for maybe uh, NPP or NDC. No, 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 no. Because I have the right. I'm 18 years and I need to decide for the country. And my, my, my decision here you know, leaves a, a lasting legacy. As a citizen, of a country, you have to get the voter's ID in order to make a decision because we are in a country of a democracy, right? So everyone has the right to make a decision. So I'm trying my best to get the voter's ID in order to help me to vote. The Electoral Commission is targeting to register over 620,000 first-time voters in the limited voter registration exercise spanning 21 days. Out of the over 620,000 first-time voters, there are those that feel that they are of age and want to be part of decision-making by casting their vote. And there are those that could be coerced by their parents or even guardians to tow a similar voting pattern like themselves. But one thing remains certain. This will reflect in the final outcome of the 2024 general elections. Josh Quinn, TV3 News, Accra.